Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be a little bit all over the place. There's just a lot that I wanna get done. I wanna get some cleaning done. I also need to do things like restuffing our couch upstairs. I want to make some really fun DIY Christmas gifts. I literally have a list on my phone of all the things that I'm kind of hoping to get done today, but I figured I would just take you along with me. We can get things done together. We're going to keep energy high and just get all the things done because there's a lot to do before the holidays. So let's go ahead and get on into things. I wanna hear you say yeah. We are kicking things off in my office today and kind of towards the front of the house in our guest bedroom as well. I feel like I tend to kind of get into habits and typically I will start in my kitchen or in my bedroom, kind of depending on my mood, I guess. But when I want to feel extra motivated, I feel like I will go for my office because that is the space that I spend a lot of time in during the week. And I don't know what it is, but it's a lot of time a mess. So having my office really nice and organized and cleaned up in here makes a huge difference. So that's what we're tackling first. I've been doing our decluttering series throughout the house. Well, these books, some are my good book cookbooks, and then some I was like debating on if I was keeping or not. And then when my mom and sister came into town, we ended up pulling them all out and like looking through them. And so now I just have to re-go through them very quickly and put any that we're not gonna keep in my donate pile. Until my lungs give out your beautiful So the reason I wanted to share a high energy clean with me is because of course I had all of these things that I wanted to get done that I needed to kind of focus on around the house. So I wanted to share kind of a productive vlog of getting everything done, hanging out with you guys, doing it all together. But I really wanted to make sure that the focus of this video felt very high energy, very motivating because personally I have been kind of up and down a lot lately. I I actually have been talking to one of my friends and I feel like my hormones have been very out of whack lately. It's just incredible to see like what a difference it makes when your hormones are imbalanced and just kind of everything I've been looking up lately. I feel like that's definitely kind of what's been going on with me. So I was personally really just needing to focus on getting everything done and keeping my energy up. And for me, keeping my energy up doesn't always mean actually having good energy it kind of is more like a mind game so that's what I wanted to focus on today and honestly it really actually worked like I was struggling when I first started like I didn't want to get anything done but I had a laundry list of things to do and once I started working and just taking one step at a time and starting to check things off my list it really is amazing like how motivating that can be and how much momentum you gain just from taking that first step so if you're struggling today or you know this week I hope that you can take that little tip and kind of run with it because it really will make a big difference and it'll actually boost your mood a lot. But on a side note, if you have ever struggled with like a hormone imbalance, let me know any tips you have. I'm definitely going to be working on getting my blood work checked and stuff in the new year and hopefully I can get some answers and kind of get things sorted out. But if you have any suggestions or things that have worked for you, definitely let me know in the comments. Definitely one of the chores that I neglect way too often is our windows. I don't know what it is, but I've just, I feel like I used to stay on top of windows a lot better than I do now, but this one in particular is so bad. We're also gonna do my office front window because that's kind of the same situation. Nothing out there could ever stop me From chasing after the way you love me Baby 
same technique but with just my e-cloths because I do feel like they get the window perfectly spotless so we'll see Now I'm just transitioning from those nicely cleaned front rooms to our wood wall, which is always our catch-all area, or at least one of them. I don't know what to do about this space. I've asked you guys for tips. I've asked you guys for suggestions of things that have helped you with your catch-all areas. And I don't know, it's like it stays clean for a couple of days. And then until I do a full on clean like this again, it comes back. And it's such a bummer because this ledge is just so pretty when it's clean. It's very welcoming and inviting right by the front door since we don't have an actual like foyer and table and all that stuff. But it looks so terrible when you walk by it and it's so cluttered all the time. So I don't know, maybe in the new year I'll figure it out, but for today, we're just cleaning it off. All right, we are making some good progress. The front of the house is nice and clean. We finally decorated our Christmas tree. It's so funny because we decorated for Christmas a little earlier than normal this year because my mom and sister were coming into town and then we decorated our tree later than normal. So there was like such a long time where our tree was just kind of bare. It did have the lights, but we finally decorated it. It is not, you know, like Pinterest styled. We have just like all of our special ornaments each year and the kids, do most of the decorating on our trees. That's kind of how it was growing up. We always like to do the same thing. So there's definitely a lot of clumps of jingle bells and ornaments and all the things. The top is a lot more bare, but it's beautiful and I love it. So anyway, we have the doors open to outside because it's just not that cold right now. So we're enjoying the nice fresh air coming into the house. Whoops, I'm literally tripping over stuff like Nerf guns and all the things. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the kitchen and living room area. It's just very cluttered right now with a lot of stuff that needs to get tidied up. But then I do have actually a lot of stuff over here in this area. And I'm gonna kind of leave that over here because those are the DIY gifts that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. And that's part of it too. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's 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 keep going. We are not quite into the new year, but let's go ahead and talk new year goals 
This is the time of year where I start to get very excited for the new year and I start to kind of make my goals. I actually don't go all the way into making like a, not a mood board, but like a vision board, I guess, for the new year. Let me know in the comments, do you ever make vision boards? And if you do, do you make them like in real life, like a physical board that you can see? Or do you make them on your computer or on your phone or something? And if so, do you think they help? Cause I don't know, I think it's kind of a fun idea. I just haven't ever gone to that degree of kind of making my plans. But anyway, I'm kind of getting sidetracked a little bit. So for me, some of my goals that I have for 2024 is of course, I'm always trying to find new ways to manage my Hashimoto's and thyroid a little bit better. So that is something that I want to put a bit more emphasis on this coming year, especially with my hormones acting up lately. I really kind of feel the need to really focus on that. I also want to continue my decluttering journey. As you may know, we have decluttered a lot of the areas in our home already, and we have gotten rid of so many things. So it feels really, really good. But I'm going to continue decluttering more of our house and just focusing on making our home feel more calm and peaceful. I feel like I'm always needing to work on my work life and home life balance. I think that's kind of an ongoing thing and I think a lot of people are dealing with that. So that's definitely going to be higher on my list this coming year. And then another thing that I wanna work on is actually solidifying my routines. Several years ago, I feel like I had all kinds of routines and I feel like I was very diligent in doing all of them. And just with my personality, it just gave me so much peace and everything kind of ran a lot smoother. So in the coming year, I really want to solidify different cleaning routines, like a weekly cleaning routine, daily cleaning routine, routine, all that kind of stuff. Also, I want to work on a self-care routine. I just feel like that would really benefit my life so much. So those are just a few of my 2024 goals. I'm sure we'll be talking about those a little bit more in depth in the actual new year, but if you have some goals, I would love to hear what yours are. And also one of the things that I think is so cool is to think of one word that you want to kind of focus on this year, like kind of be your word of the year. Now I have not come up with my word for 2024, but if you already have your word, let me know in the comments and let me know what that word specifically means to you. But over the next week or two, I will be thinking about my word and deciding what it is. And I'll plan to share that with you guys in my very first video for the new year. I really just have so much excitement and positivity going into the new year. I feel like it's gonna be a really, really good year. All right, so while I'm showing you my disgusting dirty stove and also that little crevice underneath it, which by the way, I couldn't really figure out a great way to clean this. So I kind of used a kebab skewer and just a cloth and a little scraper. So I'll have to figure out a better way to clean that in the coming year. But I wanted to share some of my video ideas that I have for the new year, just to kind of kick the year off in a really exciting, positive, motivating way. So anyway, here, are some of my video ideas and let me know if there's anything that you are really really excited to see or anything that I didn't mention that you would love to see like a certain type of video and I will definitely do my best to add it to the rotation but I definitely want to share some of course motivating cleaning and everything I also want to get back into some house projects I think during the holiday time it's just kind of too busy to do a ton of house projects and makeovers and stuff but I do have some house projects that I want to get done I also want to get started on our bedroom makeover as well as our laundry room makeover so those will be starting to kind of take priority as well 
And then I'm also wanting to work on decluttering again, kind of like I just mentioned. So stay tuned for some decluttering videos because I'll be continuing on with my decluttering series. I think we're on episode five next, so that will be happening for sure. I also shared a few months back trying out some new cleaning tools. So I think I'll probably do the same thing in the new year with some new cleaning tools, cleaning products, things like that. But also I wanna share like a roundup of all of my favorite cleaning tools and cleaning products, just kind of the ones that I think are really worth it. That way I can be trying things out and you don't have to waste your money on things that aren't really worth it. And then I think the last thing on my list was actually to share some more homemaking videos that will have a ton of healthy recipes for the new year. So those are kind of my thoughts, but anything that you would like to see, definitely leave your thoughts and suggestions down below. recently ordered a new corded vacuum just because mine has been kind of showing its age a little bit. I've had it for several years. I use it so, so much, like all over. We've used it in multiple houses. Like I love that vacuum, but I wanted to try this one because I see this one go on sale sometimes, but I saw it go on like an insane deal. I think at the moment it might still be 184. When I got it last week, it was 199, but it's normally a $400 vacuum. So it was literally half off. This is a Shark Vertex. I love my Shark vacuums and I'm really excited to have like a full size because the one that I've had is technically an uplight, like it's a light corded vacuum. And I just think that the full size ones can offer even more suction. So I'm really excited to try this and we are gonna test this vacuum out. Just a very quick update on this vacuum. I have been loving it so much so far. I've only been using it about a week or so now but every time I use it, I'm just very impressed with how much section it has. Now it is definitely a bulkier vacuum. It's like a full size corded vacuum, but with that you get great section, which I feel like you just can't really get that with a cordless vacuum. Also, I do love that you can detach the base from the head of the vacuum. That way you can very easily get underneath furniture. And of course with a full size vacuum, you're going to have a larger dust bin. So that means you have to empty it less often, which is really nice. It also has has a no hair wrap head just like most of the shark vacuums do now and another thing that i love is that it is self-propelled so it's not like really hard or heavy to push so there are a lot of things that i'm loving about this vacuum and i'll continue to share that as i use it more and more I'm gonna go ahead and fold these towels. These are my bloom towels. If you've been here, you know I love them. They're like a tight knit waffle weave. They are very, very durable and they last for years. Like I've had a lot of these for years and years and they're really good size. They're double sided. They have a ton of cute prints. They also are like crazy absorbent and just like the perfect kitchen towel. But anyway, you'll have to adjust this fold depending on the size of your towel. But basically what you're gonna do is pick whatever side you want out. You're gonna lay that on the opposite side. So you're gonna lay the inside of it up. Now you're gonna tuck a little pocket on the bottom and then you're going to fold it into thirds. Then you're just going to roll it down. This size of towel, I just do five folds down, but you'll just kind of have to play around with it. And then you fold it over right on top of that fold. And then you're literally just gonna tuck it right inside of itself and create its own little envelope. I've heard that some people will say that this might, you know, be a little bit of a waste of time, but honestly, like once you get good at it, it does not take much time at all to do. And then it's nice because you can actually pick exactly which towel you wanna use. It also saves a ton of space, so I love it. Yeah. 
so here is a little breakdown of the gift ideas that I had. So we are giving these to the teachers and also the ladies in the front office, but this does not have to be like a school gift. This kind of could go for anybody. The first thing that we got, these ones are going to go for the front office ladies. So it's just this little aloe vera plant. It comes in a little nursery pot. And then separately, I got these little terracotta pots. You can get these, I think sometimes actually at the Dollar Tree maybe, but they just were at Walmart for a dollar. So how cute is that? I feel like the terracotta pots are also like very in right now, but even so they're just simple and classic. But this is awesome because they can take this aloe vera plant home and just, they can break it off and use it. They can use it for decor. Aloe vera is so incredibly easy to take care of. To go with that is this little mini Martinelli sparkling cider bottle. These are just actually from Dollar Tree. So I got six of them. I just thought this was so cute because it's kind of like special, but it's also useful. Like they'll be able to just enjoy it. And then I also got some holiday chocolates. This will be a little gift. Isn't that so cute? And it costs just like a few bucks each. All right, these are so fun. So the boys actually made these last night, but these are something that I've made with our boys years and years ago. Basically, you can just get a Dollar Tree mug or kind of any mug that you want, and you literally just draw on it with a Sharpie marker. You can use colored Sharpies like we used here. And if you mess up, you can always erase it with a magic eraser. That works really, really well. But once you get it all set how you want, you're going to pop it into an oven and then turn it on to 350 degrees and then bake it for 30 minutes. So you do wanna put it in a cold oven and then heat it up and then let it completely cool before taking them out. That way you're just not risking cracking them or anything. But these are so fun because they're personalized. They cost literally $1. We're also going to put in some hot cocoa packets inside of the mugs and I got them each their own little bag of two chocolates. I also have these bloom towels. These ones are actually for teachers. I think they were just part of like their back to school collection. I thought these would be perfect for teacher gifts. This one says, thanks for helping me bloom. And then on the other side, like green polka dot stripes. And then this one is green and blue on the back. And then it has this cute saying on the front. And that is going to be the gifts for the actual teachers. So let's go ahead and get these kind of made up. This is where I start to overthink things. Like it doesn't even matter where this goes, but I'm like, should I put it on this way? So it's not like covering up the cute design or should I tape it on the back? Or like, is this the back or is this the front? Should I do it like this? And then they flip it over to see their name. <sighs> All the little options I have to choose from. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it right here. Cause that's kind of cute, right? Yeah, that's cute. And then they can flip it over to see their name. Just on the counter. Next, we're going to make the teacher gifts, but before we get going on that, I'm actually gonna start dinner and it's gonna be super easy. So I figured I would just share it with you guys. So you can get these, you can order them online. I think it like on Amazon or Walmart, but I just went to Aldi maybe a week ago and I saw them there for like the lowest price I've seen. I think it's like $2 each. It's this Kevin's brand. You basically just add the sauce into whatever meat you want. So like they have beef ones, they have chicken ones, and then they have different flavors 
flavors like this one's Korean barbecue sauce, Thai coconut sauce, which I think is what we're gonna do tonight. But literally I'm just gonna chop up a couple chicken breasts, saute it in the pan. Towards the end, I'll add this with like a little bit of green peas. And then I'm also gonna make some rice for the side and then just some edamames to have on the side of it. And that'll be dinner. It'll be very, very simple, but this stuff is so, so nice, especially for like really quick dinners. Literally for this, I just folded up the bloomed towels and then stuck on an extra peppermint chocolate right on front, wrapped it up with a pretty ribbon, and then I stuck a hot cocoa packet and the chocolate inside the DIY mug that we made the night before, and it was just such a fun gift. It was very budget friendly. I feel like it's super useful, and also it just came together really easily. So for our dinner, once the chicken was like mostly cooked, I just took it out of the pan and sliced it up a little bit. This is just kind of how I like to cook my chicken. And then once the chicken was mostly fully cooked, that's when I added in the frozen peas along with a sauce packet. And you literally just saute that for a few minutes and the chicken is done. Of course, I made the rice a little bit earlier and then I just popped in some edamame into the microwave to heat those up. And this is like one of our favorite last minute dinner ideas. If you have any really good dinner ideas like this, that are very quick that you don't honestly really even need much of a recipe for. I'm all ears. I would love to hear any suggestions and ideas that you have. And then once dinner was done, I just went ahead and sprayed my DIY room spray around before calling it a day. Honestly, I cannot wait for the days to start getting longer and longer. I feel like they've gotten so short and it's just getting dark so super early. So I'm very much looking forward to the longer days coming back. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I also wanted to mention if you are not following me over on TikTok and Instagram, I'm sharing a lot more reels and stuff over there as well. So definitely go follow me over there if you're not already. And I am so excited for the upcoming year and all the fun videos that I have planned for you guys. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on all of those fun videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.